When I was 17 months old, I was stung by a bee at a picnic, and ever since I've wanted to make a gun that shoots bees. I don't mean a, a gun that shoots bees, I mean like a, a gun that shoots bees, like to get them away from me. But when I looked up how to turn bees into ammo, all I found was this military research. So bees can be used to detect explosives. This is amazing. I had no idea bees were this smart. Why doesn't the army train bees to sting people who smell like explosives? Oh, I guess because that's technically a war crime. Ugh. No, God. But I hate bees and I need a gun because I doxed myself 32 seconds ago. So the first thing I tried was taking the trap tube off this toy bug vacuum and attaching it to a thousand PSI air valve and a CO2 BB gun cartridge. But that didn't really look like a bee gun, so I stuffed the whole thing into a toy fart gun that I think looks really cool. Yeah, this looks like something that shoots bees. That way, when I open this valve, the bee should get shot out the front like a BB. And to make sure I don't get in trouble with PETA, I made this cushion target for the bee to gently get shot into. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty safe. Let's try and shoot this intruder in three, two, one. Oh my god! Wait, where'd he go? That was a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Uh... I think I saw him land over here. Oh god. This is him. This is for sure him. The bee was dead. It's, it, shot, it shot him too fast, I think. I actually feel really bad about this. After reviewing the footage, I found that the first problem was that the CO2 accelerated Beatrice from 0 to 54 miles per hour in about 4 milliseconds, or 681 Gs. And Beatrice might have even survived that if she hadn't steered herself into a rock. I'm sorry, I just want to make a cool animal video like when Mark Rober tortured those squirrels. And I don't want to be cancelled, so I've decided that I'm never, ever, making another bee gun ever again with CO2. And instead, I'm going to make a new bee gun with this one kilowatt electric fan. The plan is simple. Big fan blow bee soft, so no bee explode. So I used Onshape, a free browser-based CAD platform, to model an adapter for the fan so that it would fit into this gun-shaped pipe. Then I cut a few more sections of pipe and fit them together to make this thing, which looking at it now I realize is just a leaf blower. Nobody's thought of inventing one of these before. All I need now are new bees to load into this thing. I decided the most humane way to get them was to pose as an exterminator with a sale on Craigslist to guarantee the gun is only shooting bees that were going to die anyways. Oh, there we go. Okay. What were you going to do to these bees before I showed up? Oh, I was going to murder them. Something about these bees didn't look right to me, but I had to pretend I was a real expert and not some weirdo trying to make a bee gun. So I borrowed some of my client's Tupperware to trap the hive and gave it my best shot. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh yeah, they're really mad. So I've gotten this far. I don't really know what to do now. Uh-huh. They're gonna come out, dude. Are you just gonna flip it? Okay! Oh, all right, I'll get the lid. Oh, oh no. <laughs> there, we got him. Wow, I really shouldn't have dropped him. Thank you, job well done. Wow, this is, I hate this. For some reason, these bees are acting very angry. I even tried to calm them down with Vivaldi's Four Seasons Violin Concerto in E Major, but they don't seem to care. And I'm starting to worry that as soon as the bees come out of the gun, there's actually nothing stopping them from just turning around and stinging me instead of the guy I'm aiming at. And I'm pretty sure they know my face because I destroyed their house. So, we're going to teach the bees that I am good. No, we're going to teach the bees that I should not be eaten. Welcome to the Alan Pant Institute for Specially Gifted Bees to learn to not attack my face and to attack bad people's faces. I was gonna train the bees to only go after Vladimir Putin, but my printer ran out of ink and so I had to use the only picture that I had in my house, William Osman. The lesson plan is simple. My face has a little plate under it filled with quinine. A very bitter substance. Bees hate it, but it shouldn't kill them. And William Osman's face has a cast iron seared T-bone steak topped with fresh rosemary and organic manuka honey. I haven't told him he's volunteered for this yet, but it's the only way to guarantee that I won't get stung in the next test. Simmer down now, students. They're very mad at me for some reason, even though I'm trying to give them a, an education. Theoretically, the bees should learn to avoid my face and become attracted to Will's face, but right now they just seem confused. These bees are idiots. 
This is where the food and the sustenance is, and this is where the bitter repellent is. Yeah, there we go. There's one smart guy. There's a smart bee. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, well. So I carefully observed the bees over the next few days and took notes with the FN Pen 2.0, which is a really cool solid metal pen designed by my friend, Ryan Kung. It's the perfect addition to any EDC kit because the FN Pen can actually swap between a pencil tip, a pen tip, and even a tungsten carbide tip for when you lose your car keys. Oh, <laughs> that is actually super impressive. So big shout out to my friend Ryan and the Effin Pen 2.0. And you can use the code Allen10 at stabbylabs.com to get 10% off your entire purchase. So while I was doing that ad, the bees got some alone time to learn the assignment. And when I came back to check on them. Uh-oh, I'm not very popular with bees, but you know who is? William Osnell. Oh, they love him. <laughs> oh my fucking god, I cannot believe that actually worked. <laughs> So finding out the bees were actually very smart made me feel even dumber when I realized my gun doesn't work. At first I thought having a hole on the side of the barrel would suck bees into it, but instead it blows them away. This is known as the Venturi effect not working. But luckily, right then, Emily the Engineer published a video where she builds her own bee gun with compressed air blowing into a bee jar. And that gave me a great idea to steal her idea. Since there's so much extra air blowing anyways, I can redirect some of it with this bypass tube and use it to blow air through the bead jar into the hole so that it can blow and suck at the same time, just like your mom. We want the tissue papers to get sucked up and then out at, at Vladimir Putin over there. Sucky sucky in three, two, one. That actually totally worked. Uh, that is the exact sucking that I want to see. There's a mosquito on my face, isn't there? So now that the bee gun's going to work, I just have to tell Will that he's the, the target. I told him to meet me just outside San Francisco dressed like a referee, because referees kind of look like bees. Come, okay, we're, we're come with me, come this way. So this is Mark's nuts. This is his nut orchard. I bet he's got huge nuts. Yeah, uh, he's actually right over there. Hey, Mark. Yeah, so this is this is where he grows his nuts. Whoa, they're smaller than that. <laughs> I've secretly been training bees to attack your face for the last couple of days. Okay. And I built a gun to blow them at oh. you. <laughs> Wait, why can't you just let them out of a box? <laughs> oh, oh, they're alive. Oh, no, 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 no. Those look, don't look like normal bees. Don't they? No, those look like... Like wasps I, or I hornets. Did, I did think they were kind of long, yeah. So then I just take the foil off. Wait, <laughs> this is like arm yeah, loaded? Yeah, right now it's just arm. There's not a valve or anything. Do you want a countdown or? I think I see one in the barrel. Yeah? Well, yeah. I think he's gonna come out then. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, be gone. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, he came at like 40 miles an hour. Wait. <laughs> This is the slowest gun ever. It takes like five minutes to hit you. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and shoot it again, okay? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, wait, I see it. I see it. All right, now see if he goes back towards me or if he goes towards you. <laughs> I mean, I definitely shot the bees out, so it's a bee gun. But uh, once they came out, it, it kind of seems like they're just happy to be outside. I don't really think they're gonna go after me or Will. You wanna try shooting me, maybe? Oh my god, they're everywhere! Are they? Who are they going towards? Will. <gasps> I hate this so much. He oh no, get your butt. Recognizes no, no, your no, no, face, no. dude. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, please don't stay. You didn't land on me. Oh, oh. oh my God. Oh, it didn't work. He didn't even sting you once. I was pretty bummed out that none of us got stung by bees, but then I remembered that Mark Rober hates bees. Hey, Mark, can I show you my new invention? Oh, gosh. Uh, now, Mark, if you could stand there for about five minutes, I'm going to try and shake <laughs> one of these bad boys work. out. Wait, there's really. <laughs> Shoot him again. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Quick, on the 
we'll make a tiny gap. Shoot the beef in. Shoot the beef in. Oh no. This is every time. Now we've made him upset. All right, I give up. I give up. Here we go. Mark Rover, please. Just, just, what do you, Mark, Mark, no, Mark. I do know how long it took me to build this gun, Mark. Don't, don't, no. 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 I told you, I don't like bees. Oh, no, the bees are all getting away. Well, I think, uh, I think they live here now. The bees were now free to roam around Mark Rober's nuts forever, hundreds of miles away from my house at 17418 Los Angeles, California. And even though Mark had just destroyed months of my hard work, in a way, he had also helped me heal decades of insect-related trauma by replacing it with new trauma. And anyways, all the damages were covered by today's sponsor, Opera Browser. So thanks to Opera for sponsoring this video. It actually took a ton of research to train bees to recognize faces, and that's why I use Opera Browser to streamline the process. Opera's built-in VPN lets me search the web privately, and that way I can find the information I need without having to worry about the FBI. I like using the snapshot feature to capture inspiration images for mood boards, and it comes equipped with straightforward tools that allow me to highlight the important bits and record my thoughts right there on the image. Opera also has popular messaging platforms like WhatsApp and Telegram right there in the sidebar. That way I can collaborate with my friends without having to open a separate program. And when I'm actually building a project, the intuitive tab islands help me keep track of all the different parts I need. And when I click on online shopping listings, Opera automatically opens them up in new tabs that group similar tabs together all on its own. This saves me a ton of time searching for the right parts at the right price. So if you want to try out a better browser experience and help support the channel, use my link below to download Opera today. And thank you so much for watching. Good girl. Yeah, good bee. Good bee, I like you now.